Ever wondered how diverse the roots of America truly are? Ever thought about the intermingling of Native American and Negro populations during colonial times? We often view history through a narrow lens, but the reality is far more complex and intertwined. Consider this. During colonial times, the intermixing between Native American and Negro populations was so vast that it blurred the lines of distinction. Indian reservations in states like Virginia, Georgia, and Alabama, among others, became virtually indistinguishable from the Negro populations in the South. This intermixture, vibrant and profound, has left an indelible mark on the cultural fabric of America. Yet, it remains an unseen aspect of our shared history, often overlooked in mainstream narratives. But don't just take our word for it. Let's delve into this often overlooked part of history and see what experts have discovered. Hold on to your seats as we embark on this fascinating journey through the unseen intermixture of America's past. First off, let's hear from Melville J. Herskovitz, a renowned American anthropologist. Born in the late 19th century, Herskovitz made significant contributions to the field of African studies, particularly through his extensive fieldwork in West and Central Africa. His research and observations played a crucial role in reshaping the Western understanding of African cultures. But Herskovitz didn't just limit his studies to Africa. He also turned his scholarly gaze to the Americas, where he noticed a significant intermixture between Native American and Negro populations. According to Herskovitz, this mingling was so substantial that he boldly stated, the Indian has not disappeared from the land, but is now a part of the Negro population of the United States. A statement that challenges common perceptions and demands a deeper exploration of America's complex racial history. A profound observation, don't you think? Now, let's turn our attention to Gunnar Myrdal, a Swedish economist, sociologist, and politician. Myrdal's work was pivotal in shaping the conversation around race relations and social policy in the United States. He published an influential book titled An American Dilemma, The Negro Problem and Modern Democracy in 1944. This book became a landmark study on the challenges faced by foundational black Americans. But that's not all. Myrdal also shared some keen insights into the relationship between Negroes and Indians. He observed that their equal social status fostered intermingling. This was not opposed by the whites who seemed indifferent to it. He noted that as the number of Negro slaves grew, the Indian slaves gradually vanished into the larger Negro population. In his words, whole tribes of Indians became untraceably lost in the Negro population of the South. Quite a revelation, isn't it? And lastly, let's consider the contributions of Jack D. Forbes, a Native American scholar and activist. Distinguished for his profound contributions to Native American studies and environmentalism, Forbes' work was instrumental in reshaping our understanding of Native American history and culture. He had a keen eye for the intricate interweaving of cultures, particularly between Native Americans and Negroes. He noted that certain states bore witness to such heavy intermixing that it became a frequent topic of discussion in contemporary literature. In New Jersey, for instance, Forbes pointed out an advertisement from 1734 seeking the recovery of a man named Juan. Described as half Indian and half Negro, Juan was not explicitly labeled a Negro, despite his mixed ancestry. This intriguing example reflects the complexity of racial categorization during this era. Then, in Louisiana, Forbes highlighted that the 1856 Black Code referred to offenses involving slaves, Indians, and free persons of color. This sheds light on the multifaceted racial dynamics of the time. Forbes even looked to North Carolina, where he found that many people of Lumbee Indian identity were, at times, categorized as Negroes. This further illustrates the fluidity of racial identities and the profound impact of intermixing. Forbes' work offers a captivating exploration of the interplay between Native American and Negro populations, painting a more nuanced picture of America's past. A fascinating insight into the complex tapestry of America's past. So, what have we learned today? Our exploration guided by the observations of Herskovitz, Myrdal, and Forbes has shown us the profound intermixture of Native American and Negro populations during colonial times. 
This intermingling was so extensive that Indian reservations in states like Virginia, Georgia, and Alabama, among others, became virtually indistinguishable from Negro populations in the South. A peek into America's past reveals a rich, diverse history that often remains unseen. If this glimpse into the past has captured your imagination, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more adventures into the unknown. Lastly, for more information about the names and subjects mentioned in this video, get your copy of the Amazon best-selling book series, 19. White Men Who Admitted There Were Indigenous Black People in the Americas, and 13 Black Scholars Who Admitted There Were Black People in the Americas Before Columbus by Chase McGee. Link in the description. Stay curious and keep exploring. Until next time, keep exploring and keep learning.